YouTube, welcome to the stream, you know what's going on! Yeah! I got lots of sleep last night, so I am pumped! There! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, that one. Anyways, let's do this. So, goals for today. We got a, a, a minimum of three hour stream, although I might go longer because I love this game so much. Um, goals for today. We want to get this factory actually running. Uh, so, producing all of the important shit. So we need iron plates, iron rods, and, uh, so we got iron plates going there. We've got copper wire going there. Man, the ladder system in this game could really use some, some work. All right, I'm gonna need one, two minimum. Actually, let's go with, oops, let's go with three. All right, cause I want to run lines both here and on the other side. At some point, screws will become a tier one item instead of a tier two, because I'll be able to get a, uh, hopefully an alternate schematic for them. However, for the time being, it's just gonna be a, it's gonna be a tier two item. Hmm. All right. So now here's here's something I didn't think of. So I've got this here, which is great. Um. Hmm. Do I need to? <sighs> I mean, that one's producing iron plates. That one's going to be producing iron rod. Is it? I mean, I don't really want to have the line like that. I'd like to be able to split it. Huh. Yeah, I, I want to. I want to try and have it split the same way as I did when I on the first floor. So let me reorganize here a bit. So right now, that's the output. I don't want that to be the output. I want uh, this to this over here to be the input. All right, um, splitter. There. I'm gonna deconstruct this this uh, constructor, and then reconstruct the the constructor. <laughs> there. I like that the, it snaps to a grid. It makes life so much easier when it's snapped to a grid. Uh, and then I want this to be merger. Going out this way. Okay. Now I need another constructor. Perfect. I need another splitter. Oh, shit, we just ran out of power. Ah, oh, fuck me. <sighs> Wrong side. That means this one's gonna run out of power. Oh, that one's got... Hang on. There we go. All right. It's running again. Good. Okay. Back to it. Actually, this way might be less beneficial because it means that I'm not going to be able to if to turn one row into a uh, a different output. 
Shit. All right, we're going back to, to the way it was before. God damn it. I am really, really in, uh, indecisive. All right, uh, splitter. Then I need another constructor. This way is going to limit the, the input speed. However, it shouldn't matter for iron specifically because we should be having more than one line of iron anyways. All right, and then this will be the output. So I need a merger there. Now this is going to interfere with the walkway a little bit. Uh, not so sure how I feel about that. I'm going to de deconstruct the splitter there because I don't need it. Alright, conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. And this is where the input is. So I'm gonna need conveyor belt here. Perfect. I mean, I could be turning this so that they go straight this way and then turn left, but this is fine. And this looks kind of fun, so I, I'm okay with it. All right, uh, so this one's producing, let's go with iron rods for that one, and this one's gonna produce iron plates. And then, and you're gonna need storage container. Right here. That's the input, yep. Right there, with another conveyor belt, perfect. And then I need another storage container right here. Storage container. Right here. Another conveyor belt. Perfect. Okay. Now, yeah, this is going to have to move. This is absolutely going to have to move. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Um... So now we need more power. I need to create a, a power generation section. Somewhere that I can put all of my generators. Now theoretically that would be a tier one, or tier zero I guess you could call it, um, option. However, I could potentially be processing the fuel significantly at some point. So I tr I'm going to try and avoid... I'm going to have the power generation on, on in its own separate building, as it were. Um, man, I wish, I wish my camera could be wider, but unfortunately my green screen is only so wide. Uh, anyways, where should I put the power generation? Maybe over here? Hmm. Speaking of power generation, let me quickly... Oh, shit, I'm out of... And okay, I need to catch or grab some biomass. God damn it. Hang on. Go process some of the biomass I have right now. That'll let me cut down some trees to create more biomass. Excellent. Oh, a bacon or agaric. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot that the chainsaw basically just like clears a swath of land. It's not just like one tree. Like there. Holy shit. Uh, how much wood do I have? Uh, not that much. Gonna need to find a forest or something, cause. 
Yeah, this is not going very quickly. Hang on. Nice. What was that? All right. Hmm. Let's make some more biofuel real quick. Now, yes, I could have a biofuel manufacturing section. However, it is not going to be necessary once I, I get coal going. Or not as necessary. I'll basically just be using it to cut down trees for a little bit. So, not going to worry about it. It's really only used for the, uh, for the chainsaw. And I think you can use regular fuel for it after a little bit. Or turbo fuel or whatever you want to call it. Man, this would be kind of faster if I, I automated it. But that's fine. I am super hyped for Monday because I start my uh, I start on the floor on Monday. Although I think I think from what I understand, for the first couple of days we're going to be basically pairing up and doing our job so it won't be totally fun yet but uh once i'm able to actually do it by myself without them you know looking over my shoulder that's when that shit's gonna get real fun uh okay i got 200 for that one and i got that for that one and i think we're good sort it there we go all right so that should fuel us up for a little while i, I need a fuel section i need you know what? Uh, what the fuck was that? What the fuck? Goddamn white flash in my eyes. Alright, let's set it up here. Let's just start setting up biomass uh, generators. Oh man, I would really like to... Uh have a higher vantage point, but this is fine. Oh yeah, that's that's perfect. All right. Um, gonna need. Actually, I'm gonna need some more biofuel. So let me uh, let me pull that out for now, and I'll deal with that. Oh, that's neat. It's the shred door. Shredder. 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 <laughs> Anyways, um This produces the same amount of power as everything else, right? I should just set it up as one uh large power grid, but for now it's actually more convenient to do it this way because then I can just refuel them uh I don't have to refuel all of them at once. If one goes down, then I still have a few other ones running. If that makes sense. Um, I wonder, are we backed up now? Oh shit, we are. Oh, this one's not. Alright. Well, that's good to know. Okay, uh, so we gotta set up more... We need more concrete. Damn, our concrete production is real slow, but we don't we shouldn't need it for very much once we get to a certain point. All right, how much power generation are we going to need for those for that upper floor? I'm hoping not very much. God, the music in this game is just so s mysterious. It's great. Okay, where am I putting the power pole for these ones? Uh, I guess we'll put it right... Uh, I can't fit it there. Where's the center? Here it is. Okay. And then power line. 
another power pole over here. There we go, the entire system is now on one uh, power system. That should be good. These are running now. We're now producing wire. I had 45, oh, okay, the, this system, the uh, conveyor belts are gonna get overwhelmed real quick on that one. My bad. Uh, actually, I should drop these to 30 per minute then. Oh, I can't change their their speed. Ooh, okay. I gotta get an upgrade for that, I guess. Damn. That's fine, though. Uh, power pole. Right there. Power line. There to there. Power pole. Hmm. I mean, for now, I guess I'll just stick it right here. Emailers. Power circuit notific. What the fuck? I mean, yeah, I got it. Ran out of power, thanks. There we go. All right, now we're now our factory is actually running, so we're producing plates, uh, wire, and rods. Hopefully, theoretically. All right, I need to go get some more biomass. Let's go cut down some more trees. Look at them shivering in their little trunks. Oh, uh, you and your friends are dead. <laughs> I just cut down true. Yep, I did. Huh. Weird. There we go. Okay. Just gonna completely destroy this planet. We're gonna subjugate it to our will. Nice. What's my inventory looking like? Could probably get rid of that concrete now. Man, that chainsaw noise sure is. Fun to listen to. What are we at? All right, inventory's full. Let's head back. The one good thing about having the entire network on uh, together, instead of separate, is that it uses fuel evenly throughout all of the uh, generators. So, luckily we shouldn't be going through too much fuel too quickly, I guess. If that makes any sense. Not enough space in inventory. Oh, this is where I need to get rid of some of this concrete. Is this still powered? Yeah, it is. Alright, back to it. Oh, well. Go 
but I need a cracker. Oh. <laughs> I might be snacking a little bit during the stream just because I am a little bit hungry. Should have probably eaten something before stream, but oops. <sighs> Gonna have a lot of downtime during the stream. So, might as well. Uh, let's see. What are we at? Oh, we got a lot of fuel now. Alright, cool. Although we are running through it very fast. Get off of my screen. Thank you. Okay. So, we are now producing iron rods and iron plates, so that means we should be able to get some more uh, milestones completed fairly quickly. Hopefully. Although I could also I should also be doing it manually just so I can actually bang this shit out real quick. Let's focus the iron plates because those are the ones I need the most. This is, see now, see now this is why I was uh, doing everything manually up until this point, because it's just faster to do it yourself. Now yes, if I do it myself and have a factory, then of course it's going to be faster. Because two is always better than one. Even if one is still pretty fast. Two will be faster. Um, however, you saw how much time it took me to actually set all this up. Uh, this one, wrong one. There we go. Uh, and then, oop. Still need more, huh? All right, grab some more iron. Let's do this. Make some iron rods. Yeah! Iron rods! That's enough. Three, two, one! Milestone reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Bye bye. All right, next one is I could go for personal storage. It's relatively cheap. Conveyor walls will allow me to have stairs, which are handy. Um, but at this point, you know what? Yeah, I'll clear out tier one and tier two, and then I got to start working on the space elevator. Which is unfortunate, but eh, what can you do? Actually, what does the space elevator require? Concrete, plates, rods, and wire. So everything that I'm already producing. I just need to increase production. Or just wait a long time. Anyways, let's focus on personal storage next. Shouldn't take too long. 
Oh, right, I can't stick stuff in it yet because I don't have the, uh, the pod back. I can't load up the pod if the pod's not here! Silly! Alright. Fair enough. Damn, we're producing a lot of iron. Or, um, wires. Alright, let's start building the next floor. Um, does so I need more concrete? Should probably empty out my inventory a little bit, actually. Uh, I don't actually need flowers. I'll get rid of those. The limestone is unnecessary. Uh, and all of these screws are unnecessary right now. Mm-hmm. Take all the concrete. All right, now let's get the third floor going. So I need walls. Two, three. Three should be enough. I think I remember three being enough just because it's, um, I need enough space to have Oh yeah, three's enough. Alright. I almost fell off the edge. I almost fell off the edge just because I wasn't paying attention. You know what, I'm really hoping that update three comes out on uh, Tuesday. Because they said it would come out on a Tuesday. So, kind of hoping that it's this Tuesday. It wasn't last Tuesday, but I can understand that because they just came out with the announcement. However, this Tuesday, Really hoping it's going to be this Tuesday. That'd be nice. Alright, uh, I gotta rework this pathway. Um, let me think here. Okay. So I'm thinking... Uh, Oh, you can stick it in the center now. I didn't realize you could do that. But now the edge is better. Uh, okay. So then ramp. All right, then a turn. And then more ramp. Perfect. Now I can get up here. Now we need some more. Hmm. I think I'm going to delete that. I'm going to change it to this. And then go like that. This. Here. And then I should have enough room if I do this. I can still walk underneath it, right? Yeah, I can. Okay. So then I'll go boop. Right. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'll finish off the ramp. There we go. And then foundation. Is that the edge? Yeah. All right. So I want to go from edge to edge. Oh, good, the pod's back. Excellent. Hmm. 
Awesome. All right. Man, yeah, railings are going to be handy. Got to say, <laughs> going to be kind of handy. It doesn't stop me from dying all the goddamn time, falling off of my factory. All right. Do, do, do. Plates. Rods. Wire. Need more rods and plates. More rods, more plates. Three, two, one! Good. Yeah. All right. Milestone reach. Additional storage options have been provided. R&D inflated your pocket dimension and developed a personal storage box accessible in the build menu. Awesome, so now I can build these personal storage boxes, which contain more space than the storage container, but whatever. Um, and I now have more inventory space. Inventory space is gonna become a big thing. God, this fog! Luckily it doesn't, you know, extend up infinitely. Otherwise, this whole factory would be foggy. Wouldn't be good. No, sir. Okay, um, so the third floor, or the tier two, as it were, if you're going by British standards. Uh, speaking of which, how's my... Actually, my... I say, I say speaking of which, and like, like it's actually related, but it's not. Um, just making sure that my fuel situation is still good. Okay, I need to... I need to start crafting... Screws. Reinforced iron plates are going to be tier 4. Or tier 3, sorry. Uh, screws are tier 2. Reinforced iron plates are tier 3. Modular frames, mod, 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 modular frames are tier four. Cable is tier two. And then rotor is also tier four. Actually, rotor is tier three. Because, yeah, it doesn't require screws. Okay. Anyways, we're focusing on tier two. So that's screws and cable. So cable is gonna come from the copper section. Screws are gonna come from the uh, iron rods. Got it. Actually, before I do anything, let me drop some more uh, goodies in here. And I'm gonna take some of this concrete and get rid of it because I don't need as much as this. There we go. I also don't need the bacon agaric. Get rid of that. I'll keep the barrel nuts in case I need to... Actually, I should probably heal. Just numb on those nuts. There we go. Okay. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to use the washroom. Luckily, the game runs in the background. So, be right back. Okay, back to it. So let's get the the next milestone going, or gone, rather. It's going, going, it's gone. That and that, and Nut. Got yeah, conveyor walls now. This is done. Still need more carapaces, but that's fine. Or carapaches. Aminita lardum or bacon agaric can be added to the object scanner catalog after unlocking the new blueprint in hub tier one. All right. Um. Object scanner mushroom. Sure. 
Why not? I've already got one of bacon uh, agaric. So I'll just keep that in my inventory for now. Now I have stairs! And I have conveyor walls. Which will allow me to make my... Uh, my factory even prettier. That being said, not too good at making my factory pretty to begin with. So don't expect much from me. It's really weird that there's a gap here. Like, I can, I can almost fit through that gap. Okay. Um, so, here's what we need to do. This is the rods, right? Yeah, it is. So now we're going to throw a conveyor lift right here. Okay. I love that I can walk away and then come back and it, and, and it doesn't cancel the creation. So I can do that. It's great. So that should be coming up. Yep. Also, I'm happy that conveyor belts don't use power. It makes no goddamn sense because it should be using power, but it's not, and that's great. Okay, I need another conveyor lift right here. Now we head back over here. Perfect. All right. I want to thank you all for watching on this lovely Saturday. Hope you guys are having a great day. And I hope you're enjoying the stream. It's kind of chill, so if you guys are looking for something more exciting, I can understand if you guys want to leave. But thank you for watching all the same. I appreciate the, the support. You know what? This game would be really pretty with uh, ray tracing, but right now it's a little bit blown out. Everything's red. Ah! It's all red. Um, okay. So that's all I need to pipe up to the third floor. So now I can just start working on the third floor. So let's see. So over here is going to be my cable production. I'm going to start planning for walls. Oh, need more plates. That's fine. That's all I need right now. Just those walls. Splitter. Shit, I need plates for the splitter. Uh, head back down. Grab some plates. And then head back up. See, now I could line it up directly with this thing. In fact, I will. I will. Oh, wait. I'm going to need space for the... Um, hmm. I'm going to need space for... Hang on, let me delete this real quick. Okay, I see where I need to put it. It needs to go here. Uh, splitter. Should be in line with it. Let's see. Come on, get up there. There we go. Yeah, that's in line. All right, perfect. Probably gonna have to delete that, but if I got it right the first time, yay! Cables! So much cable. That much copper would cost a fortune, by the way. That's a lot of copper. Anyways, uh, production. Oh, I can make assemblers now. What else can I make? That's it. Okay. Anyways, I don't need assemblers yet, I just need constructors. And then I need a merger. Oh, I didn't line that up properly. God damn it. 
That's better. Okay. And then from here, I need another box. No, not that one. This one. God damn it, I need more rods. I never have enough rod. Oh, wait. I might have to move this, uh, this ramp at some point. Oops. My bad. Is that in the right place? Not quite. No, it's not in the right place. Shit, I have to, I have to scoot everything over one. God damn it. I knew I'd, I'd have to delete this shit. Alright, hang on. Uh, logistics. Splitter. That way. There. Then I need production. Constructor. There. Then I need logistics. Merger. There. All right, that should do it. Now I just need some conveyor belts. All right, we're now making some cable. Won't need that for automation for a while, but it's good to have it so I can just come and get it. At some point, I'll probably just have stacks of these crates down there that I can just, you know, select from, but for now, this is great. Okay, I need to pipe some power up here. Hmm. Hang on. This is an issue. There we go. All right. Back up we go! It's a shame we can't make labels. Although maybe they'll add that in the future. For now though... Alright, we're producing cable now. How's our power production going? It's okay. It's not great, but we're definitely gonna need some more generators soon. Okay, and then over here. Now, this is where I need to figure out my spacing. Because at this point, I don't want these to be spaced out this frickin' much. But this is the only tier 2 stuff that I actually uh, know I'm gonna need. Uh, Alright. I mean, it's a mushroom, it's not a nut, but you get it. You get the idea. This one I actually don't need. 
I'm uh actually I might. Uh, God damn it. This might actually be useful. Oh, the color gun is also kind of nice. They're both relatively cheap. Oh, this one requires cable, and this one requires just wire. I'll use this one. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Okay, let me go collect some more materials. Should be able to bang that one out pretty quickly. Now, at some point, I'm going to have to go exploring for uh, some drop pods, or whatever you want to call them. Is there no Ada message for this one? Oh, wait, I have the color gun now. I should go do that. Quickly change the color scheme of my whole factory. Which is still slightly glitchy. Oh, I need a, uh, I need a thingy. I need an equipment workshop. Here we go. Let's just throw it in this corner. Hang on, I need a higher vantage point. There we go. Perfect. All right. Um, objects. No, that doesn't scan objects, that scans for objects. Slightly different. Okay. Um, I need screws. I have screws. I have lots of screws. Look at all these screws that I've got. Yeah! Got a gun of color. All right, uh, what's our current? I believe that's the current one. Let's go with. I'm pretty sure that's the default. If I go with green. Yeah! It's all green now. Although I don't really like that preset. Um, let's go with black for this one. Maybe not full black. Yeah, let's go with a gray. And then let's go green for this one. Uh, 120. There, that looks pretty nice. Oh, I love that green and black uh, aesthetic. It's great. Hell yeah. Even my walls are black. Well, dark gray. But you get the idea. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna delete this and we're gonna rotate it. Oh, 
like that. There. Alright, so then we're going to set up splitter here. I'm out of cable. Oh, well, luckily I've got cable here! <laughs> oh, life is good. Yeah, I love this green and black aesthetic. It's great. It's superb. Alright, so let's see here. Um... Now the question is, does it go there or there? I'll try it. You know what? No, that's completely wrong. There we go. No. Is it straight? It's straight. Yes! I did it. It was all me. Yeah, see, here's the problem with this color thing, is that it resets some things to, like, the default. Just randomly. Which kind of bugs me, but whatever. It's fine. Alright, so now we gotta do production. Another constructor. I'm gonna throw it right. Oh, god damn it. Why? There we go. Okay, this is gonna be producing screws. A lot of screws. Oh, that's a lot of screws. Only gonna need one of these for a while. Alright, um. Then we need a merger. You might be wondering, why are you putting mergers everywhere? Just pipe it directly into the uh, storage container. And the answer to that is, it's for future expansion. Because if I set up mergers, and all I have to do to add another constructor is just put the constructor down and pipe it to the merger. Plus, mergers are really cheap, so there's really no point to not using mergers when I need to. Is that the right position? It is. Oh! Oh! That might be an issue. I might have to uh, fix that real quick. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that. My bad. Anyways, conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. And then power line. How's our power? We're getting close to the limit, but we should be fine for now. Now I gotta fix that. Hold on. Keep falling down. Like a chump! God, I'm such a chump. Alright, delete that. Delete that. I need... Logistics, power pole, or con conveyor pole. Uh, yeah, it's not completely on the edge. Do it like that. And I'll throw another conveyor pole right here. Perfect. Now over here is going to be a little bit of a weirdo. Oh no, I can just go straight up to the to that height. Um, yeah. So that's normal height. I think it should be two up. I think. Is that a slant? No, it's not. Perfect. I did it! I did it! 
All right. So we're producing screws at an alarming rate. So now we have tier two done, theoretically. So now we need to set up tier three. We could also probably hit, hit up jump pads at some point. Um, why is my chainsaw not in my hands? Oh, the color gun, right. I don't need the color gun anymore because I already have set up my colors. Hmm. Actually, should I should I set up tier three, or should I increase the speed of tier one? Because some of these tier one systems don't aren't really producing at a high enough speed. I mean, I'm producing. Actually, the wires are not. I think they're being consumed as fast as they're being produced. That's fine though, once cable backs up completely, then it should be fine. Oops. Gotta get back up there. The jetpack would be nice. Although it does use fuel like a motherfucker. Um, we are consuming iron rods faster than, oh, at the same speed that we're producing them. I think it's 15 per minute consumption versus production. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna need to... Um, see, waiting for screws to back up is gonna take for fucking ever. Which I'm not okay with, because it's 500 per stack. And that is... Three, eight, 16, 24. So, 1,200, 12,000? Yeah, 12,000 screws, which would be absurd. That would take an hour to produce. So instead, we're gonna, gonna have to double up our on our iron rods. And see, this is where having the mergers and splitters set up is gonna be handy. So I need foundations first. What was that? Oh god, sorry about the flashing. Oh, I got a like. Tell my mom I got a like. She'll be so proud of me. Alright. Uh, another constructor. God damn it, the smoke is blocking everything. That's not in line. There we go. All right, and then I need do 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 splitter. And merger. Conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. Oh, God damn it. Conveyor belt and Conveyor belt. All right, should be getting some iron ingots. Perfect. Iron rods. Uh, how many iron ingots are we consuming? 15, 15, and 30. Okay, so that's our full production of iron rods or iron ingots being consumed. All right. Gonna need another power pole over here. And we are oh so close to our max capacity. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna let me go make another uh, generator real quick. Uh, biomass burner. There's no nice way to set these up, is there? That's a shame. How's our fuel situation? Let me refill some of these. I'm gonna have to go get some more trees. Okay. 
that should last us a little bit, I guess. This is going to shut down the whole system, but that's fine. Perfect. There we go. Now we have more headroom. Headway? Footroom? Foot locker? I don't know. All right, all of those trees are gonna gotta come down. That's gonna hurt. Ow. I think I need to make a stairway up there though. Hmm. Luckily, I have ramps. Oh, I gotta snap to a foundation. All right. That works. These are probably more expensive than foundation ramps, but whatever. This will be relatively permanent. And they have railings, so I can't fall off as easily. I'm sure I could still manage it if I tried. Fuck. Too close. Hang on. Alright. Try that again. And then a uh, turn. forward and then a ramp perfect nice all right let's start taking all of this wildlife for ourselves what is this walking sound So, for those of you who don't know, I work in a call... I, well, I, I, just, I recently started working in a call center. Uh, less of a call center, more of a chat center. But, um... <laughs> I, they let you bring in your own uh, mouse and keyboard, just... Because, uh, I guess they want you to be comfortable at your desk. And... So, I brought in one of my Razor Black Widows. Which is, for those of you who don't know, it's a mechanical keyboard. And it, mechanical keyboards are loud. They're, they sound like typewriters. So, I am like the loudest typer in my area of the office right now. But I'm looking to get a new keyboard once I have the money for it. Just a more silent one. Still mechanical though, but, you know, silenter. Did the music change? Does the music change depending on where you are? Oh. Well, that's interesting. I didn't know that. I've never played this game with music on, to be fair. I When I'm playing alone, I don't like music. Because then I can watch like YouTube videos in the background. I'm going for those big trees. How much wood do we get for that one? Oof! That's a lot of wood! Come on! Damn it. There we go. Uh. Ooh. I gotta stay away from that. That produces poisonous gas. 
think. Oh shit, there's one there. Run! Run! Okay, it didn't activate. That was scary. Hear the purr of that engine. Come on. Oh. Nice. Is that a pathway? Decent amount of wood. I guess we could head back now. Goddamn waterfalls. Yeah! Okay, good. There's a ramp over here that I could have used instead. <laughs> Shit. Well, that's alright. It's better to have one closer to base. Although, this will be handy once I get vehicles running. If I need to run uh, a vehicle somewhere for coal or whatever, it'll be handy. God, this factory is going to look so satisfying once it's done. It's not going to be cramped and, uh, you know, terrible like my last one. Oh, right. <laughs> the biofuel. God damn it. Ow. Hang on. Let me make some more biofuel. Uh, I'll do the leaves first because they're lower density. Uh, I know I asked this earlier, but how's everyone's Saturday going? Got any cool stories to tell? Mine's pretty boring. I just slept in. Caught up on all the sleep that I lost uh, during the week. Although later today I'm planning on uh, working on a D&D &D one shot that I'm... Uh, that I'm... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um... Adapting from uh, from a, a larger campaign that I uh, created. I'm shrinking it down to about a three hour uh, one shot or so. Hopefully it goes well. I'm thinking it'll be fun, but you never know. <laughs> Oh, also, I'm, I might be uh, joining another D&D group, so, so then I'll help you in three different D&D groups. That'll get confusing a little bit, but um, you know what? I'm trying to be a more loquacious person, so hopefully this will work towards that. Oh my god, it's going to take forever. You know, I might just set up a uh, constructor purely to convert biomass to biofuel. I don't even need the whole production line. Like, I don't need to, produ to produce bi biomass, but I need to produce biofuel automatically. Because this is horrendous. Having to sit here and just do this. 
Although, to be fair, I don't think a constructor would do it very fast. And it might actually be more economical to do it this way. Especially since we're not going to need it for very much longer. Once we get a, the space elevator going, we should be able to get coal generation set up. Which will then make us the cleanest, just the cleanest factory on the planet. That's a joke, of course. We're trying to kill the planet, so we want to be as dirty as possible. Nuclear energy all the way. Which, in this game, is very dangerous. <laughs> like, like you need a hazmat suit to go near the uh, nuclear generator dangerous. It's great. It's also why I will probably not be using nuclear power. Unless I absolutely have to. Because it is not great. Alright, almost done with the biofuel, and we're done. Okay. Uh, let's see. What can I drop off? I don't need the fe- the f not feathers, flowers. Um, I have limestone? Why do I have limestone all of a sudden? Where do I keep finding limestone? Uh, I don't have any more alien carapaches. Alright, throw that in there. Put that in there. There. And now I have lots of fuel. Actually, let's throw let's throw the fuel right in a in a box right here. I'll, just, I'll keep a little bit on me just for tree felling. I'm gonna fell that tree. Which is fine. Okay. So now, I am. This tier is now done, I think. Because, yeah, we're producing screws and we're producing cable. We're consuming how much wire? 30 per minute? How much. How much wire do we produce? Oh shit, we're producing 90 per minute. Okay. Alright, that's fair. So wire we don't need to, to boost yet. Uh, iron plate we are not consuming yet. So we can... We should be able to leave that the way it is. Actually, you know what? I'll set it... Mm, no, we're not consuming... We're not producing enough iron ingots in order to use the iron plate yet. God damn this. Okay, this music is getting pretty good. I think the initial track was not very great, but. It's on standby mode. Alright. See, so yeah, we're producing 60 iron ingots per, uh, per minute. So we actually. We don't want to enable anymore because that'll just overload our power. Uh, our. Yeah, electricity system. So we, we, we're going to need faster conveyor belts. We're going to need. Um, well, you know what, we need a lot of things, but before anything else, we need the space elevator. So let's set that up as, as our goal. So we need iron plates. Good. Iron rods. We're still working towards, I guess. Uh, wire is... We almost definitely have enough, yeah. Yeah, wire we're good for. Okay. And then concrete. I might actually need to increase the concrete production. Oh, no we don't. No we don't. We're good. Alright, we just need iron rods. Alright. Excellent. Uh, iron rods are over here. So 
So now, unfortunately, I cannot produce any more iron rods without su uh, suffocating my iron plate production, which is not ideal. So, at this point, it's basically a waiting game. So what I'll do is I'll take all of my iron and produce iron rods myself. That should speed up the system a little bit. Where am I going to put the space elevator? Because it takes up a lot of space. Huh. Okay, we got enough. Um. Hmm. I could throw it over here. I guess I got a lot of I got a lot of room over here. Yeah, let's put it over here. Hope you guys are ready for the one of the most satisfying constructions in this game. The space elevator. How wide is this thing anyways? Um One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So we got it wide enough this way then. Shit, we're, we're using up our precious concrete. Oh no. So that's two la- no, three layers. Uh, so do 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 four. Okay, now I need to get to a high vantage point. Because we gotta do this correctly. So I think I'll jump up there real quick. Oh, I need more concrete. Oh, what's going on? Alright. I got a package! It's probably the mints that I ordered. <laughs> I ordered I ordered over a kilogram of mints. It's great. Oh great! It's not symmetrical! You know what? That's fine. Alright, here we go. The most satisfying build. Oh hell yes. Wait for it. Here comes the tether! <gasps> oh, hell yeah! Yeah! Nice. Anyways. Can I drop down from here without dying? I'm not going to take that risk. 
I'm gonna do it level by level. All right, well, we got a space elevator now. Do I need to... I do, okay. I mean, jump pads are the only thing I have left that I need to make. Here, let's, uh... I actually, I don't need anything on this floor. I need the second floor. More plates. I don't need anything over there. And more rods. Gotta go grab my rods! And I need some of this. Actually, yeah, with, with the way I'm gonna be making this uh, factory, like, vertically, um, jump pads are gonna be a big, a big thing that I'm gonna need. So, this'll actually be smart. Damn it, I need more rods. Time to make some more rods! That should be good. All right, we now are Milestone done. Age. Buildings aimed at factory traversal, With tier two and tier one. Several different for now. Categories of jump pads can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. Okay, so the issue. The biggest issue with using these things is that they're not entirely safe. Alright. Oh, there's nothing for me to land on there. Uh, hang on. <laughs> Maybe I should set it up where it'll actually, you know, launch me towards where I need to be. Instead of in the middle of nowhere. Um... This is just a test. I want to see if a tilted jump pad actually makes sense around here. All right, here we go. Oh, shit, too low. All right, uh, hmm. That didn't work out very well. What about a straight jump pad? I just throw one right here. Oh, no. Facing the wrong way. Uh, nope. That way. Okay. And doot doot. Perfect. Okay. Now, power. Yep, that's, that's handy. What happens if I land on it? Oh. Fun. Huh. Neat. Alright, well. Now we need a way to drop down. So let's throw a U jelly. Oh my god, that's huge. What does that require? Oh, biomass. Huh. It's also really big. Why is it so big? That's what she said, but come on. God damn it. All right. Um Guess we're not making a U jelly yet. Okay, let's go see what we need to do to get unlocked tier 3. Okay, we need rotors and reinforced iron plates. So it looks like we're gonna need to set up our tier four and tier tier three and tier four uh, crafting levels. Oh, that's unfortunate, but whatever. Uh, 
Okay, so our next step is we're making screws, so that's good. We need reinforced iron plates and rotors. Okay, so that's just all tier three then. That's not terrible. Oh good, you're back. It's a shame that I can't set this up as a goal. <sighs> hmm. Alright, well, reinforced iron plate and rotors. I could probably make those manually, but I do need to set up tier 3 anyways. 75 and 50. actually wouldn't be totally horrible. The problem is that it requires iron plates, which ultimately are difficult to have right now. Yeah, this is going to be a push. I've already got 61 of them. What am I thinking here? Let's throw those in there. The rotors I don't have anything of, but I only need 50 of those. There we go. I only need a few uh, reinforced iron plates. Okay. I can manage that. What do the rotors require? Let's see. Rotors. Rotor, 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 rotor. I need screws and iron rods. All right, so it looks like I need iron rods and iron plates, which isn't bad. Iron plates and iron rods. Nice. All right, before we do anything else, let's make 10 of these. I think we might need more than 10, maybe. I gotta check. Oh, those slanted uh, jump pads are probably good for traveling distances. Okay, I need four more. Two, three, four. Okay. There, that's done. Now I need rotors. need seven more rotors. What am I missing? Do I, I need more screws. Okay. All right. I've got lots of screws. Shouldn't be a problem. I like that the screws come in these like blue buckets. These are very industrial. If you've never worked in a factory or a, um, or any sort of, uh, machining place. These blue bins are everywhere. They really hit it directly on the head with that one. This is gonna hurt. Didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. Is this a... Oh yeah, it's a 3D printer. And a laser arm thingy. Huh. God, I love the detail they put in this game. It's great. It's just super. Okay, now I need rods. Probably should have... Oh, no, that's perfect. Sealing it up. Send it! Oh, 
Whoa, okay. Weird. Okay, it's glitching out a little bit. God, I love the space elevator. It is great. You don't need the crafting bench anymore. All right, well, we unlocked tiers three and four, I think. Yeah, we did. Coal power and legit, both of the things I need are right there. And then steel production is gonna make life difficult. Um, Logistics Mark 3 will be nice. But Logistics Mark 2 and Coal Power are our big ones right now. Um, let's do Logistics Mark 2 because that'll allow me to actually speed up my production. Which will make things easier in the long run. Okay, so I need to make more rotors and more reinforced iron plates. Luckily I have plenty of wire and cable. So that's not going to be an issue. Wire is over here. No! Damn it. Back up we go. Yeah, traversing this factory is not going to be great for a little while, but I'm hoping I can make it better later on. We are producing more wire than we're consuming, but it's only barely. Shit, I need more than 500. All right, let's take all of the wire that we have. That should be enough. Uh, and cable is on this third floor. Take two stacks because I'm gonna need them for cons or for crafting, not crafting, constructing, building, whatever you want to call it. It's a thing. What am I doing over here? There we go. Okay, so now we just need rotors and reinforced iron plates. All right, so we need 20 and 20. All right, I love this thing. This is great, because it, it simplifies it to just needing that many plates, that many screws, that many rods. I don't have to do math, I don't have to do anything. It's great. Do I have any, re I don't have any, okay. So now I need more plates, more screws, more rods. Got enough plates. I got enough rods. And I got enough screws. Got lots of screws. All the screws. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now just don't overdo it on one or the other. That's a weird beat. Yeah, another one. Logistics Mark II. All right, what do I need for conveyor belt Mark IIs? Oh, good, conveyor pole stackables. Oh yeah, see now here's the problem with conveyor belt Mark IIs. I need reinforced iron plates. Ah! All right, that's fine. This is fine. This is all fine. Everything's fine here. God damn it. Wasn't expecting that. All right. Coal power would also be nice. Sounds like a name. Hello, I am Coal Power.
Sounds like a D and D character. <laughs> it's it's a dwarf name, is what that is. It's perfect. If I ever play a dwarf again, I am absolutely naming him Cole Power. Him or her. I'm not against playing female characters. It lets me get in touch with my feminine side. Alright, uh, I need a bunch of reinforced iron plates. So let me make those real quick. That'll make me allow me to make some tier two or level two. God damn it. There's so many different words for different zones or whatever you want to call them. Mark two, that's it. Conveyor belts. Alright, hang on. Uh, so I am currently consuming 60 iron ore per minute. So this is the first thing I need to upgrade. Which is unfortunate, but it's a thing. Um, okay. So I gotta upgrade this whole line. Ah, god damn it. This is gonna cost me a lot. Five! Wow, I got up to there. Son of a bitch. Alright. We got 18 more that we can make. Uh, this part of the game is just... It's, it's so slow, like, once you reach a new tier of production. I mean, I guess it makes sense. So I'm not complaining that much. But... Okay, need more. make some plates out of raw resource. I could probably prioritize coal power as well. It'll save me time in the long run having to create a bunch of... Oh god, I just realized coal generators are huge! Oh, that's gonna suck. God damn it. Oh, I need more screws, too. So I'm getting to the point where I'm going to need to uh, optimize and increase production. This is not going to be great. Alright, uh, I need more screws. Gotta go to level three. Here we are. Give me all your screws. Alright. Nice! I can make 38 of them. Once we get, uh, get more iron being produced per minute, then we can get more of everything else being produced per minute. And then we should be able to produce reinforced iron plates and rotors at full speed. 
which is the key, the ideal for this is you, you want to be producing the top level at full speed which requires making sure everything below it is up to snuff as it were um, all right so let's upgrade this and then that all right good so now we can push more through here 30 per minute I guess that's taking 30 that's taking 60 so then 30 then I can essentially I can run this one as well how's our power distribution it's fine for now all right I'm also going to need to it's a one-to-one -one ratio so I need to upgrade this one as well Good. Now I need to upgrade this line. I'm also going to need to upgrade this. That way I can run four of these. And I can need to upgrade this as well. Alright, good. So now we've doubled our production. So we're now consuming 120 and producing 120. Conveyor belt mark 2 is... Yeah, it's 120. Okay. So now we need to... Upgrade conveyor lift. We're not going to be upgrading our copper production anytime soon because we don't actually need it. I don't even think rotors need uh, copper. Damn it. Need more. I need more! This is fine though. Uh, steal some of that. some more screws all right let's start focusing on coal power now that we have the option to throw stuff in there wow seven freaking you what mate oh it's because it takes 24 screws per ah that's a lot it's just a plate full of screws all right, that's fine, I guess. All right. Oh, let's get rid of that one rotor I have. I don't need rotors for anything. Okay, we need more wire. Oh, I can upgrade my... Because, yeah, I'm producing too much wire. Damn it. All right, hang on. Oh, I need more cable, too. That's fine. Hang on. Okay. Then we need more of this. We're gonna produce more iron plates. Then we're gonna produce more reinforced iron plates. Oh, manual crafting is a bitch! Oh, wait. I need to produce iron plates. I need to produce screws. I need more screws. That's what I need. Oh, silly Chris. Silly Billy. There. All right, now we can increase our wire production. Yeah, because I don't need to create more copper ingots. I just need to create 
or in, speed up that. So there we go. So now these conveyor belts should be running at full speed. Good. Good! Excellent. Okay. So now we have more cable. Uh, I'll grab some screws while I'm up here. However many I have made. Need more plates. I get that the music is supposed to be space age, but it really just comes out as, eh. It's just like mysterious bullshit. Okay, so that's plenty of reinforced iron plates. Let's speed up this system real quick. Excellent. So now we can be producing more iron plates. So we now are consuming 60 and producing 120. So we can add... Hmm. We don't need more iron rods right now. I don't think. Iron plates, though, we do. Actually, I could probably just double production of both sides. God, level two is so smoky. Uh, conveyor merger. Damn, I need iron rods. Hang on, 30, 45. I'm gonna need a conveyor belt mark two right here. There we go. All right, how's my power consumption right now? Uh, I still can't scan for coal yet. So I guess we'll, let's focus on coal power then. Since we're now producing more iron, uh, we should be able to ha bang this out pretty quickly. Add to do list and add to do list. Okay. Four of those, 25 of those. All right, we just need screws. Just a lot of screws. We gotta screw all up in here. Is that, is that a funny joke? Please laugh. God damn it. Uh, you know, I'll leave that there. I was gonna delete that to, for materials, but I've got lots of, lots of concrete. There we go, okay. Can't see jack shit! Just so much goddamn smog! Alright, so we need two more constructors for iron rods.
You can produce 15 per minute, so that's a total of 60, so I don't need to upgrade any of these yet, because they conveyor belt mark ones use 60, which is good. Um, Alright, so I need more power. Uh, what's our power distribution system looking like? Alright, I need more power production. So, gotta make some more biomass burners. Need more wire. Okay. That's fine. I got lots of wire. I think. Yep, I got lots of wire. Now, slowly reducing my health. This is not an ideal location for these, but it works for now. Okay. I'll refill my whole system while I'm at it. stack. Almost out of biofuel. Gonna need to go get some more at some point. Okay. Um, why am I up here? A question we all ask ourselves at one point in our lives. Or another. There we go, we're now producing double the iron rods per minute. We also need more iron plates. This one will I'll stick a thing right there. Uh, that one's full, that one's not. There we go. There we go, now we're producing more iron plates as well. How many are we producing? Oh, only 30 per minute? Good lord. No wonder we're not we're running out of them. Alright. Anyway, we got more iron rods being produced. So now we can produce more screws. So we go up to the third floor. Oh, let's see. 15 per minute. Wow, okay. That's fine. Um... You can just throw in another one. Oh, right. The special one is gone because we have both a hub and a uh, space elevator. You're not allowed to have more than one space elevator. Don't you know? Kind of annoying in my mind. If you have, like, a factory that's spread out across the continent or whatever, you're going to want more than one space elevator. In my opinion. How much does this produce? Nine. Oh. Oh. Well. Looks like we figured out where we need our conveyor belt Mark IIs. This is going to be too much for even the conveyor belt Mark II. Oh boy. Oh lord. Have mercy. Why are these on different levels? What is going on here? I'm confused. I'm pretty sure that's that's a glitch. 
Hang on. God damn it, why? You know, it's fine. It's fine. Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me at all. It's fine. There we go, now we're producing so many screws. We're now overloading the system with screws again. Luckily, we need them. All right. Now, this is one of those situations where I'm now producing more screws with machinery than I am producing with, or that I can produce by crafting them myself. So, I'm just gonna let it run. Hmm. Actually, I might be able to produce more myself. Uh, let's grab some more rods. Oh yeah, no, I'm producing way more myself than the machinery is. Okay, that's fair. Okay. So first, reinforced iron plates. We need 25 of them. All right, and we need 24 rotors. All right. Hang on. That and that. Oh shit, and this. There we go. Good. We can now produce coal Milestone power. Milestone reached. Long range transportation, as well as the construction of outposts, is now encouraged. An increased focus on the explore and exploit pillar is recommended. <laughs> explore and exploit. Coal is 125% more efficient than biomass and can be automated. Explore and exploit. Fix it. So, yeah, these are big boys. Great. Gonna need to set up a coal power section of my plant. Alright, but first of all, let's see where the coal is. Come on, give me a good ping. Oh! Oh, oh no. 700 meters! Uh, I'm gonna need a lot of iron plates to pipe that all the way back here. Shit. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna take a quick break. Gonna use the washroom. Save the game real quick. Save early, save off, and save your reef. Alright, guys, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Hey, you home. So surprisingly, I don't want to go for steel production yet. Logistics Mark Three is the way to go. Although Miner Mark, oh no, Miner Mark Two requires steel in order to make. So yeah, Logistics Mark Three will be next. But before we do anything else, 
Oh, this is gonna suck. I don't have cars yet. Oh, I do. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe I should work on making a tractor. Actually, no. It's slower than me, and it's not a very good way to transport materials. Because it uses fuel. It's more efficient to just pipe it using uh, conveyor belts. So that's what we'll be doing. All right, so because because we're gonna be piping it using conveyor belts, we're going to need a shitload of conveyor belts. So we're gonna need lots of iron plates. For now, we're gonna use, uh, hang on. I think we're gonna need poles too for the uh, conveyor poles. Okay. And then, hmm. Splitters require cable. All right, I'm gonna need a single coal generator in order to run the uh, the coal miners, which I'm also going to need. I don't know how many no coal nodes are gonna be over there, so I'll, I'll set up for two coal miners. Actually, no, let's do three. We'll do three miners. We don't need smelters, constructors, or assemblers. Uh, we might need a crafting bench. Um, gonna need a bunch of power poles. Luckily, we've got lots of materials for that, so that should be. I don't need to add that to my list. Um, stackable conveyor poles. I got lots of materials for. I don't need foundations. I don't need walls. And might need one of those, but that's about it. Okay. God damn it! These mints are so good. I'm going to be taking this bag to work, and I'm just going to be munching on mints all day. It's going to ruin my stomach, but that's okay. Mm. I, I, I for sure need the coal generator. Hang on, let me remove the crafting bench from the list. Okay. So I need a bunch of rotors. Hang on, five rotors. It's a shame you can't craft on your person. And as far as I'm aware, there's no way to do that. Like, um, with upgrades later on or anything. As far as I'm aware, anyways. Okay, uh, rotor. And modular frames. I can actually make the three I need already. Two, three, okay. So now I need portable miners. This fog! Can I turn off fog? Maybe I can turn off the fog. I can't turn off the fog. Wow, that's annoying. Kind of wish I could turn off the fog. <laughs> well, whatever. All right. Uh, oh shit, I can make a lot of portable miners. I only need three though. I don't think there's any spot where there's more than three of a single resource in a location. Okay, I need a bunch of screws, and that's all. All right. Oh, wait. I've got this jump pad that I'm not using. There we go. Luckily, you can re-, re uh, or maneuver yourself 
in midair. Otherwise, those jump pads would be significantly less useful. Or more difficult to, to actually find a use for, rather. Alright, rotors. Three, four, five. Perfect. So now we got the, our miners and our coal generator ready. Should be able to go and mine some coal. It's a shame we don't have access to a map yet. That's fine, though. Alright, coal. It's in this direction, I, I remember. Yep, that way. Oh shit, they're up a l ah. I make my life difficult. Ping them again. There's three of them, okay. Hopefully there's no hazards around them. That would be a shame. Okay. Gotta create a way to get up there. So there's upsides and downsides to using ramps. The, uh, hang on. One, two. Okay. The downside is, is that you have to do this kind of stutter step scenario right here. There we go. Alright, so we're up here. Ping it. There. Okay. Uh, I wish it was a nighttime right now. All right, we're gonna climb it straight from the bottom. Because the angle that we're gonna need to go at is going to be absurd. Of course, the benefit to using foundation ramps is that you can, in fact, uh, set them up to have conveyor belts on them. Get out of my way, tree. Unfortunately, I don't have railings, so... I'm gonna be dealing with that for a little while. The severe risk of falling down. Yeah, I, I won't be using trucks or anything for, uh, for material transportation. As cool as it is, it's still kind of glitchy, and I don't like the fact that I have to worry about my truck getting stuck at some point. So instead, I'm going to be just piping things up until I can actually use monorails or trains or whatever the fuck they're called. I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, maybe I will. The last little bit is going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah, I think, I think I'm not gonna have enough concrete. Son of a bitch. Luckily, it's not too big of a difference, or a distance, rather. But. God damn it. All right, gonna have to go get some more concrete. Wow, we're high. 
I don't see any crashed pods around here. Probably because we're so close to the spawn point, but... Huh. Wait, is that one? Maybe. Maybe there's one right there. Anyways, pods aren't my aren't, aren't uh, a priority right now. Let's see if we can do this while we're walking. Eh. Nope. Damn it. Stupid individually wrapped mints. No, my mint. That's good. I got it. Hmm. God damn, I love these mints. I got hooked on these mints during training because there was a jar of them in, at the front of the class. And we were allowed to take as much as we wanted. So I just... I I think I went through an entire bag of... Like, an entire kilogram of these mints over the course of the three weeks of trainings. So that was great. All right, while we're grabbing more concrete, I think we'll also get a, um, start the coal, coal line. We might have to... What the fuck was... Why do I keep getting lens flares? Damn, my inventory is full. Hmm. Hey! Breaking the chains! Good to see ya. Yeah, I, I, I bought a... I, I, today I had uh, Amazon deliver this kilogram, 1.16 kilograms of Winto Green Lifesavers. And damn, they're good! Alright. Good to see ya. Thank you for watching! And all that fun stuff. Okay. Hey, Breaking the Chains, you ever played this game, Satisfactory? Let's do... Hang on, it's in that... Oh, wait. There's my ramp right there. It's a shame we can't zoom in. Alright. Nope, we need a pole first. Eh. Eh. Perfect. It is a lot of mints. Does it actually have a number, or, or is it just the weight? It's just the weight. I could probably do the math. Wait, four pieces is 15 grams. Hey Google, what's 1,160 divided by 15 divided by four? I don't... I didn't hear her. Hey Google, volume to 50%. Hey Google, what's 1,160 divided by 15 divided by 4? The answer is approximately 19.333333. Nope, that's incorrect. Hang on. God damn it. Hey Google, what's 15 divided by 4? Okay, so 3.75 grams. Hey Google, what's 1,160 divided by 3.75? The answer is approximately 309.333333. Huh, it's only 300 and something. Uh, one fell out, guess I gotta eat it. Anyways, hey Monsu, eat them all over here right now. You do realize that mints uh, kill all of the nice bacteria in your stomach. So if you eat too many of them, you'll get have some real bad stomach aches. Aside from the sugar and shit too, but anyways. <laughs> nope, wrong way. Yes, they do, actually. It's because, um... Well, if it's actual mint. Like, if it's from an actual mint plant, then yes. 
because uh, because mint is a natural disinfectant and uh, and it kills bacteria. It's why uh, most it's why toothpaste was originally mint flavored. It's because the mint actually helped kill uh, gingivitis and stuff. The more you know. Which is why I love mint flavor, because not only is it tasty, but it's also good for you. As long as you don't eat so much that you kill your stomach. I'm just gonna sneak me up through these trees here. Okay, Monsu, get out. You're not welcome here if you don't like mint. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Please don't leave. I'll be so lonely without you. Uh, let's put it there. Oh god, this is... That hurts my head. That hurts my brain. You can't do mint flavored toothpaste and makes you gag violently. Eh, it's not for everybody. What kind of what kind what flavor toothpaste do you use then? I'm actually not aware of any other flavors of toothpaste. Is there like strawberry flavored or something? Oh, also, breaking the chains. Uh, I've already got my uh, my character ready for the... Um... Actually, wait. Are you the same person? God damn it. I always second guess myself here. Hang on. Yep, I was right. God damn it. Shouldn't have second guessed myself. Now I look like an idiot. Uh, I've already got my character built for that one shot. It is amazing. But I'm, the reason why I'm asking about the uh, alignment is because that ultimately determines what kind of Dragonborn I pick. Because, obviously, chromatic Dragonborns are typically evil, whereas uh, metallic ones are typically good. Kid's Crest. Really? Sparkle fun flavor. <laughs> That's great. Oh my god. Whatever works for you, of course. But that is an amazing, an amazing fact about you. And I love it. Uh, okay. Now I know, and knowing is half. Anyways. Okay, back to the ramp grind. We need this coal in our lives so that we don't have to go cutting down trees for power anymore. Uh, I should be able to make it now from here. Uh, well, Monsu, technically, yes, we do kill stuff. In that, we're trying to kill the planet. By creating a lot of very inefficient factories. It's great. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, the motto of the company that, that you work for in this game is, is literally explore and exploit. We're trying to get as much resources from this planet as possible before we just move on to another one. Um, also, you you do have to fight... Uh, well, not necessarily have to, but you do fight some uh, indigenous wildlife on, on occasion.
It's basically just Earth Sim. Kind of. You don't have to kill all the trees, to be fair. Once I get coal going, the, ki the trees will just kill themselves. <laughs> God damn it. This is really... Hang on. Where's my coal? This way. Wait a minute. Oh, they're around me. The fuck was that noise? Oh, okay. Coal! Oh, it's pure too. Oh, nice. All right. We're gonna we're gonna be set up for coal forever. Never gonna need another coal setup. Theoretically. Uh, oh, so what is this game? So yeah, basically it's you're setting up a factory on an alien world. Uh, you you start out with not necessarily nothing because you'd still have like all the technology that uh, like a space age civilization would. But, um, it's, it's just a real fun, relaxing game, in my opinion. What do you mean, it's, what do you mean I'm going to defile it? Monsu, what the hell? Don't give people the wrong idea about me. I got some, uh, I got some pale berries. I don't know what the fuck they're called. Oh, the best part about this game is the game's mascot. It's a lizard doggo. The, 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 the creature is literally called a lizard doggo. It's great. Hold on, I got a message from some. Oh, all right. Turns out Loss is not going to be here today. She's looking at houses. Although I don't know what the big deal is, I look at houses all the time. They're literally everywhere. Six hours. Six hours until what, Monsu? What's going on in your life that's, that's in six hours? Oh wait, this is the... Yeah, this is coal, too. Okay. Miner 49er. Hey. You know what, Monsu? Everyone knows you don't come here for the good jokes. Oh, God. The game is starting to have issues. Might have to lower the... Re the uh, not resolution. Your game time is six hours? Where does it say that? I'm confused. Where does it say that? Oh, there. Yep, six hours. My other game is, uh, how many hours? 87. <laughs> Yeah, I spend a lot I spend a lot of time playing this game. This is my first time playing in this area of the world though. It's a fixed map. It's not like it's uh randomly generated. Uh so it's it, you can find stuff if you know where to look. What the fuck am I picking up here? Why is there so many leaves? Fuck your leaves. Anyways, um how much coal are we producing here? 120? 120. So we're producing 360 coal per minute. Hot damn. That is a lot of coal. Uh, you've been hanging around here er, around here for... Oh, so that was you. I I saw a viewer, but every time I looked into the in the viewer list, you it wasn't... No one was showing up. So I assumed it was somebody who wasn't logged in. Uh, so that was you. All right. Fair enough. Well, thanks for watching. You know what? I need three viewers average for an entire month in order to get my, uh, in order to get affiliate status. So, thank you for watching. It is literally the most important thing to me right now. Uh, 
Okay, uh, so we got our three coal miners set up. We need a coal uh, generator just so that we can power these three. Actually, how much power are these going to take? Uh, five megawatts? Really? That's it? How much does the coal generator produce? Fifth? Oh my god. All right, this is going to be overkill, but sure. Uh, I'll just set it up right... Oh, hang on. Other side. There we go. Right there. All right, now we need a power pole. Uh, I'll stick it right there. Power line to there. Power line to here. Power line over there. And power line to that one. Okay, now I need to grab some coal and throw it in here so we can start the power up. Here we come watch you, but your 10 ass streams at 1 a.m. GMT during the weekdays. Okay, well, I'm sorry, Monsu, but not everyone here lives in the, in the UK. Just be happy I'm speaking English. What the fuck? What? 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 Oh. Oh. Wow. This game is amazing. My space elevator casts a shadow all the way over here. Holy hell. Wow. That is the first. Did you hear that, Monsu? Apparently, I'm very entertaining. All right, um, so I guess we're gonna need three different conveyor belts going along the entire way. Huh, that's gonna, that's gonna prove problematic, I think. Hang on, can I just slot in? Oh, I can. All right, that works. going to be mildly annoying, but it's possible, at least. <laughs> god damn it, Monsu. Oh my god. Well, it's good. And thank you for telling me that I'm actually entertaining, because I always question myself. My self-confidence is not great. Unfortunately. Oh my god. Stop it breaking, you're making me blush. <laughs> god damn it, between you and Lost, I'm gonna be like a gibbering mess. If you two are ever in the same stream. Actually, she said something. Uh, oh, she might actually be here in 20 minutes. Oh no. Wait. Okay, there we go. Gotta remove the notification. Okay, how the fuck am I gonna do this? Um. Huh. So I think I'm going to have a merger here. No, wait, I'm not going to be using mergers because I don't have conveyor belts fast enough to transport 360 coal per minute. Um, yeah. Okay, here's the deal. Here's what I'll do. So this bottom one is going to be this one right here. Um, so it's going to go here and then over to here. Okay. So there we go. Um, I got some coal, so I can set this one up now. Boop. There we go. So we now should be should be producing coal. Yeah. Okay. So that's that one. Uh, this one over here. I'm gonna need. It's a shame it doesn't snap. Be nice if it snapped. It's not terrible, but be nice if it snapped. <laughs> Monsu is right. There is no such thing as too far. Uh, 
Uh, splitter. Right there. Conveyor belt. Over to here. There we go. Now we have an infinite source of uh, coal. Don't ever have to worry about running out of power or running out of coal. I'm happy that this game doesn't have limited resources. Because that would be... Uh, mucho no, no bueno. Or whatever the fuck... Uh, is in Spanish. <laughs> I also don't speak Spanish. Just a heads up. You'll have to bounce soon? Go taxi some family peeps around? Didn't know you were a taxi. I'll have to keep that in mind for the next time I'm in the UK. Uh, breaking the chains, I am 25. Just in case you were wondering. You're a family taxi. So your taxi is family run? Family owned and operated? Is that, is that, is that what I'm getting from this? Okay. I mean, two, two lines of coal should be good for a decent amount of time, but I kind of want to not have to come back here forever. You taxi the family around? You're an accountant. Oh, okay. Well, we got the coal! Another great thing about this game is that the conveyor belt moves you, so you can actually run faster along a conveyor belt than not. Although the one... One exploitable re uh, thing about that is that once you get the really fast conveyor belts, you can use them to launch yourself, like, great distances. It's great. It's a really cheap way to... It's a cheap and quick way to launch yourself across a, a large gap. Oh! Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh, well, all the same. Thanks for watching. And thank you for the compliments. But yes, no, no dating for us. That is mucho not legal. Again, don't speak Spanish. Okay. Uh, that's, that's our copper line. So we're going to have coal coming eventually. And it will never stop coming. Okay, I need more. I need more iron plates. There we go. Now that I have pale berries, I can actually possibly be befriend a lizard, lizard doggo. Lizard doggos are the best. I, there was one that lived around here. I don't know where he went though. If I ever, if I see him again, I'll try and befriend him for you guys. I live a breath sarcasm. Come on, Monsu. You're British. You should you should be able to speak better than me. <laughs> you almost failed English? What kind of Brit are you? I bet you don't even drink tea. You live with the Queen of Sarcasm? Nice. My ex-girlfriend was very sarcastic. And I think I picked up a lot of that from her. It hurts your stomach. Oh no. I was joking. I forgot that it hurt your stomach. Uh, the only... I actually never failed any classes in high school. The closest I came was like a 65 in French. Um... I did fail a bunch of classes in university, though. That was fun. Okay, let's get this last little bit going here. Um, you 
Nice. All right, we got three lines of coal. And this is this is still only half of our total production. We still are going to need more coal than this. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. Okay, I guess it doesn't want to. Damn it. Uh, why? Why has life got to be different? Wait. Haha! -ha! I figured out the secret. I gotta delete the pole. Yeah, I was bad at English too and, uh, when I first started high school. I only got good at it once I realized that essays are basically just uh, huge formulas. God, these conveyor belts are going to be hella... I need to stop saying hella so much. But they're it's going to be really uh, satisfying to, to look at. Just three conveyor belts stacked perfectly on top of each other. It's so nice. Only class you failed was media, and that was because the teacher was dookie. 90% of the class failed. Oh my god. I've never had a teacher like that, but I bet you if I did... Um, I would be getting them fired. Because I have come close to getting teachers fired in the past. Because you know what? If they're going to try and fail me, I'm going to try and get them failed. Out of a job. I'm a savage. I'm I'm mean. But it's okay because my uh, my stepmom works in the education system and she agrees with me on some teachers. So, it's fine. I've got permission. Also, I'm out of school now, so I don't have to worry about that shit anymore. Until I get a kid, in which case, then I'm going to be getting a lot of teachers fired. I mean, obviously, if they're doing their job correctly, like, and my kid still fails, then yeah. My kid's an idiot. But I've heard some really bad stories about teachers that, in, in my area, that, uh, just make, make, like, they basically get my hackles all raised up, if that makes any sense. I uh, had a business teacher didn't know how to teach business or it. I had a friend, I had a, uh, a math teacher that knew less about math than I did. It was great. She gave me 100% on in, in the class because I continue, continuously corrected her in class. Oh, right. Uh, Monsu, you're saving up for college, right? Was that you? I think that was you. I think I remember that being you. No? Ah, oh, shit. Well, now I'm embarrassed. And I once again mixed up two of my viewers. You hate the idea of college. Yeah, I I personally hate it too. It's only, like, I, I, I less so hate the idea of college and more so hate the idea of college being the be-all, end-all you need to have. You need to go to college in order to get the, uh, in order to get a job sort of deal. Because most jobs don't require college. Like, the job that I'm going into, I, I went to both college and university and dropped out of both because I didn't, I didn't want to do what I was being taught. So, instead, I went into tech support, which I actually enjoy. And I, I honestly wish that I had saved the $50,000 or so that I spent on, on uh, tuition uh, for, you know, starting up, starting up a Twitch stream or something. Because, like, I could, I could have lived off of $50,000 for a couple of years. And then I could have I could full start full time stream for two years, 
get my uh, until I have hopefully built up an, enough of an audience to actually sustain myself on Twitch, which would have been ideal. Instead, I have to stream on weekends because I need I need a full time job, and so I just gotta kind of you know be as entertaining as possible whenever I can be. He left school and instantly started working. That would would have been the smart thing for me to do. Although, to be fair, I, I'm probably more employable because I have college and university on my resume, so I likely got an, got an easier time with jobs. But at the same time, having those two things on my resume that people have never actually uh, double-checked, I could have probably just put those on my resume and just, you know, faked it. But whatever. Although I do disagree with you on the being with people you don't want to be with part of, the, of that statement, Monsu, because you meet some pretty fun people in college. Like, if you think about it, if you're actually interested in your courses, then it's a great place to find friends, because theoretically, the people that you're in class with are also interested in the same things you're interested in, right? Of course, you know, if you're antisocial, then I can understand not wanting to go to college. You don't know what you want to do as a career yet? Take your time to figure it out. Don't do what I did and just go into the first thing I thought I, I liked. Again, $50,000 down the drain. Wasn't, wasn't, not a good time. Also, not, that's, not, that's not even including the amount of time I spent in college. Like... I'm just now getting into the career I wanted. And that's seven years after I, I finished high school. So th I'm never getting those seven years back. Now, of course, those seven years made me who I am today. So the complaint is kind of null and void, but still kind of bugs me. We'd rather meet and greet people I'll never meet again than go to college and have to live with strangers. Good point. Fair point. I personally enjoy uh, meeting new people. Especially people that I talk to for less than five minutes and then never see again. Which is why I'm in customer service. Um, but at the same time, I, I yearn for true friendship. <laughs> and uh, luckily, I'm starting to get that because there's actually somebody at work that, or that I work with that um, I would consider somebody I could actually get along with for long periods of time. Also, if I, if I say something that's, like, completely off-topic with what you guys are talking about, keep in mind that I'm only, I, I, I'm having a hard time keeping up with your chat. So, uh, I'm likely only seeing, like, half of the messages that you guys send. Long distance craft, uh, building. Sorry, not crafting. Crafting is different. Seriously, this game is like the best factory game in the world. <laughs> Monsu, no. I stream because as much as I love meeting people, meeting people in person gives me anxiety. Even though I, I tend to handle anxiety pretty well, it's still there, and it still makes me uncomfortable. Um, whereas streaming, it's like, hey, I can talk to all these people. And 
you know, and yet I'm alone. It's great. It's like a chat room, but better. Because I'm playing video games while we do it. And I get to crack jokes and all that fun stuff. Plus, I don't actually have to type. Because, you know what? I really don't want Carpal Tunnel. I don't want uh, any RMIs or whatever the fuck they're called. Alright, Monsu. Take care. Have fun taxiing your family around. Come on. Yeah, alright. It's a shame that these conveyor sta or stackable conveyor poles don't actually snap or snap to. God damn it! Talking is hard. Uh, they don't snap to the conveyor belts. I wish they did. Maybe in the next update. Speaking of which, if you don't already know, update number three is coming out soon. Hopefully, unless they delay it again. I really hope they don't. Um, which is why I'm playing it again, because. Yeah, I, I had this game essentially what would be the equivalent of perfected. Um, ah, oh, damn, I need concrete. And but I'm I'm starting from scratch now because I want to have a fresh factory for when update three pops. So it's gonna be it's gonna be hella exciting. They've already released three teaser trailers for it, and it is great. What what am I here for? Uh, concrete. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it in the title. Well, I, I'm hoping having that in the title uh, attracts some more people. Because that's really what Twitch is. It's a constant struggle to attract people to the stream. Uh, hang on. There's the joint. Again, I'm really upset that I ever stopped streaming. Because in 2016 is, is when I first started streaming. And I had an audience of probably about 5 to 10 people per stream back then. And then I stopped streaming because I, I work in school got to be too much. And I am upset that I did. Because now that I actually want to full-time stream, I really wish I still had that audience. But you know what? It's fine. Rebuilding my audience hasn't been totally terrible. Because I've still got those dedicated people like Ricky and Monsu that, uh, that are still here after four years. And especially after the two years of not uh, streaming. It is truly humbling that they still want to watch me just flail about in a video game. Alright, uh, so I gotta set up my coal generating area. I think I'll do it over here just because it's in the direction of the coal. So over in this direction. Alright, let's see. How many... Ch I got lots. Okay. So first of all, I gotta space it correctly. So I'm gonna just throw some foundations as spacers. There we go. Alright, I can delete all of these now. Oops, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Hey, there's the coal! <laughs> God damn it. Alright, foundations. Foundations are the foundation of my factory. Shockingly enough. Uh, you know, I should really get up there. That way I don't have to do this sideways. Oops. God damn it.
I'm so happy that all of the resource nodes around here are pure. Because the last factory I made, all the resource nodes were like impure or normal. And it basically cuts your speed to a quarter of what it was. what it, Or what it is now. It's terrible. Do you get all your materials back when you delete things or only partial? This, this game's great because... They literally start out the game by, by having you disassemble your drop pod and and the uh, the AI or the tutorial lady uh, Ada hang on there it is milestone her uh, she she immediately tells you actually I think it's here and exploit pillar as recommended tutorials coal is 125 percent more efficient than biomass and can be automated. Uh, where is it? Damn it, I missed it. Yeah, note, fix it incorporated is cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. So yeah, nothing is actually uh, wasted when, when you disassemble stuff. So really, as you mine, you just continue to, uh, to you know, expand. You don't ever have to worry about, okay, I, I want to rework this area. I'm going to lose like half of my materials. No. You just keep all your materials. You can basically just move stuff around. It's great. All right, how big are coal gener- Oh, hang on. Uh, there. Oh, right, I'm gonna need modular frames and rotors. Ugh. Gonna have to start automating that. Super. I gotta say, the difference between me playing this on stream and off stream is purely the fact that I don't want to waste time when I'm on stream. When I'm playing this game off stream, I'll just I'll just sit here and let resources build up before I build something. But since I'm on stream and I'm trying to be entertaining, it's a little bit more difficult. I got to actually, you know, keep things moving as it were. Um which is a new challenge that I actually enjoy. Which is another reason why I like streaming, actually. I, I like streaming because it actually forces me to uh, to play games quickly and um, like play them differently than what I normally would. Because I'm a lazy guy. If if I was told, okay, I need to get like 500 iron ore or 500 iron uh, ingots, I'd just let this thing run until I get 500 and then grab them. What am I doing here? Oh right, uh, I need I need to build a bunch of coal generators. Let's do. Let's just do one for now. Okay, so I need a three modular frames and five rotors, which is going to require what exactly? We could. We absolutely could. Uh, however, I am bad at conversation. <laughs> or at least I feel like I am. I have no idea if I actually am. Wait. There we go. Okay, so I need some reinforced iron plates. And I think... No, I, I don't need to scroll. Oh, wait, those are on the... Oh, no, I need to build those. God damn it. Uh, I might actually be able to, to afford those. Do I have screws? I do have screws. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I can afford them. Okay. Which is why I like Twitch. This is Which is why I like conversing over Twitch, because if conversation grows stale, the game will probably uh, produce another conversation topic. And so, and so I never have to worry about, you know, being completely entertaining, just purely based on conversation. So between the, the game and just interacting with chat, I know I can be entertaining. Or at least, uh, you know, not completely boring. <laughs> All right. Uh, power. Cole Jenny. Motherfucker. Need some height. Is 
Seriously, Coffee Stain Studios. Stop having me have to jump to get up here. Anyways. Hey, my god, you're both purple too. Oh, hey, thanks for the follow. Gotta love that heart thing. I like my alerts. My alerts are great. Let's pop it right there. Okay. Or at least you're both purple in, in my uh, in my chat window. All right, my two my two big and like uh, nicest viewers are now in chat. Oh no! <laughs> Please refrain from uh, complimenting me. I don't want to, you know, devolve into a gibbering mess. I don't actually know how much coal this is uh, consuming. Uh oh. Oh, okay, yeah, you're purple in both of my chats. Although I have like dark mode on, so that's probably why. Jesus. Twitch really needs to fix their goddamn uh, chat colors. They're always different in everybody's chat. It's bad. Okay. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I got to... Oh god, don't disassemble that. Do not disassemble my hub. That would be bad. Sometimes the uh, disassembler has way too much range. Yeah, for example, my, uh, my chat is supposed to be green, but I've had people tell me that it's not. Very often. Like, come on, Twitch. I specifically picked green because I like green. Why would you not let me just be green? Okay, let's see. Uh, so how much coal do we consume per minute? Because this is an important metric here. Uh, let's run a power line. Uh... Actually, no, I should do this correctly. Hang on. Where does the power line connect? Oh, the back. Okay. So then I'll set it up here. You're only popping in for a sec? No worries, Lost. It's always nice that you, when you pop in at least. Wait, you can't pick breaking the chains? You should be able to in your settings. Or is that a Twitch Prime or Twitch... Uh... Yeah, I think that's a Twitch Prime thing, actually. Okay, never mind. I guess you can't. Uh, come on, give me... Where's, a... Where's an empty power pole? God damn it. Hang on. Okay, uh, we're gonna delete this line for a second. Set that up to there, and then set that up over to there. Okay. So now we're consuming coal. You may, you may have time again later this afternoon if I'm still streaming. I will, tr I will attempt to stream as long as possible then. Huh. So I'm not sure if that changes depending on how how much power you're consuming. I don't think it does. Hang on, let's go. Let me try turning off uh, our capacity. Okay. Let me go turn off a bunch of these biomass generators and see if the that number changes because I think it does. I can actually disassemble these now. So I won't be using more power anytime soon. Ooh. 
Okay, maybe let's not turn off all of them. Damn it. Which one did I not turn off? Or turn back on? Oh, we're out of fuel! Oh, super! That makes sense. That explains a lot. Anyways, uh, that's 15 seconds. Oh, actually, that's not, that doesn't look good. Hmm. Anyways, uh, it's still 5.4 seconds. All right, so, so let's do some quick maths. Uh, God damn it, calculator. Why'd you go behind it? Ah, hang on. There we go. Okay. I, it went behind my game screen. I couldn't get it. Um, all right. So it is 5.4 seconds per resource. So 60 divided by 5.4. It uses a little bit more than 11 coal per, per minute. All right, so 12 coal per minute. So that means I can run five of these off of one line. So I, I need 15 of them. Oh boy. And that's not even in, and I, I have double this amount being produced up there. So I could be running 30 coal generators. God damn, that's a lot. All right. Um, anyways, let's get some splitters going. Right there. I'll have it come in from that side. Oh, come on. Connect! No! All right, hang on. Try it again. This time, let's not go so close. There we go. There we go. All right. Also, I should probably throw all of the coal in there. Actually, I could also set up a... Um, a uh, storage container for coal, but that's not really necessary. All right, well, now we need to build up all of the resources we need for 14 more coal generators. Great. The good news is we have power now. Lots of power. So much power. means we actually don't really need all of these right now but I'll leave them uh, not connected or whatever power is good it also corrupts but that's okay because I'm already very corrupted <laughs> anyways uh, rotors and modular frames uh, so let me add those to my list Okay, so I need 42 modular frames and 70 of those. It's going to require a bunch of reinforced iron plates. Yeah, 126 of those. Okay, so there's all the resources I need. Oh boy. Let me empty out my inventory a little bit. I could also start working towards Logistics Mark 3, but I don't want to start making motors 
until I have rotors and frames and all that stuff already um, fully automated. I actually can't even make motors yet. What? Okay, so I guess I can't pick that yet because it won't let me build motors. So I need to pick steel uh, production first. Okay, that sucks. Actually, I probably need steel to make uh, Mark III uh, conveyor belts anyways, so that makes sense. I need a bunch of screws. Oh wait, I was gonna empty my inventory. Get rid of all of this. Mushrooms too. I don't need coal or... What, what is that? Iron ore. I don't need pale berries. There we go. Okay. I need... Oh, that's a lot of screws! Oh! Oh, okay, luckily... Luckily, these are in 500 stacks, so... I actually have enough. Good. And then steel... Or iron rods. I need cables, which are over... Actually, they're on the top floor right now. Go to the top floor. There we go. Okay, let's do this. Gonna make a bunch of coal generators. Then we never have to worry about power again. Yeah. This is gonna be a while. So got any plans for uh, the weekend breaking the chains? Anything special coming up? What are you excited about? Atlas is updating very slowly. Atlas, that's a, is that a, that's a game I'm assuming, so what is Atlas? What kind of game is that? And should I play it? Okay, a little weird glitch in my uh, my ingredients list right now. Okay, now modular frames. Uh, gonna sit in your bed and hope your back stops hurting. Pirate style game? Oh, interesting. Why is your back hurting? Is it just general back pain or uh, did you injure it? Also, how did you injure it? Okay, rotors. I think you're starting to realize just how bad I am at conversation, by the way. <laughs> Oh, man. But anyways, Atlas. I'll have to look that one up. You woke up this morning and your lower back was sore. Hmm. Interesting. God fucking damn it. All right, time out, guys.
Uh, boop. Okay. I forgot to pause for YouTube. Sorry, YouTube. You kind of have to sit through me. Uh, we're talking on the phone there. My bad. Anyways. Mmm. I think one of the best things about this game is that, um, first of all, you're able, you're able to, uh, like, the game doesn't pause when you, uh, when you go to the menu, so it just keeps producing, uh, but also the, the fact that it, uh, that there's no enemies that will attack you while you're paused most of the time, if, as long as you pause in a, you know, not a stupid area, then it should, you should be fine. Anyways, uh, let's get these coal generators set up. Why? Come on. It's super finicky. Because I'm at a, such an odd angle. There. 15 coal generators about to get set up. And then I'm going to be producing... 750 watts of power, or megawatts? Is it megawatts? It's megawatts. 750 megawatts of power. Holy hell. That's gonna be a bump up from the 80 or so that I'm using right now. Yeah, this area is way easier to build in than the last area, or the last uh, game that I played. Because, oh man, I was in like a... Um, what the hell is it called? It's called it's, it's like a crevice, but not quite a canyon. That's the word. I was building in a canyon, so it, if I wanted to spread out, I couldn't. It's, after a certain point, I had to spread up. Which makes building a factory incredibly difficult. Random lag spurt? Uh, wasn't on my end. Could be a thing with your, uh, with your internet. That's, a, that's one of the difficult things about Twi uh, Twitch, is just... When, when, sh when the viewers have issues, you can never tell if it's you or them that's causing the issue. For example, I could, if, if I had my bitrate, which is how much, how or how fast I'm, uh, my, uh, di my stream is being sent to Twitch, if I have that too high, then people will just be buffering constantly. It's like a constant uh, battle, I guess is, the, is a word. So let's see here. I can run five on one line. Okay, so that's five. Ah! Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. Make sure it's still using it at 5.4 per second. Okay, good. Or 5.4 seconds. Uh, I have a lot of issues with a seven, several year old computer and less than adequate internet and Atlas updating in the background. I'm not surprised you're lagging. Okay, fair enough. Well, that's one of the things why I want to be an affiliate or a partner or whatever, because then then I can, uh, I, and you guys don't have to use the full quality, or the source quality, as it were. Uh, you can actually, you know, change it, lower the quality so that you don't have to have lag. Or buffering, or anything crazy like that. Need more concrete! Are we still producing? Yeah, we are. It's just very slow. Which is fine, I don't use concrete fast enough to require faster concrete production right now. We haven't gotten into the items that require concrete production yet.
God damn it. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. I actually don't know where that went. Alright, just gonna ignore it. There is now a foundation underneath the ground somewhere. You'd really? Really? You'd rather... I mean, you don't have to lower the resolution that much. Go from 1080 to 720 or something. I mean, I guess if you don't want to, that's fine. I mean, I could lower my bitrate, and that should lower your lag. But that would, that would require me to turn off the stream and turn it back on again, and that's a hassle. I'd have to stitch together my recordings. It's not worth it. Besides, this is pretty much the lowest I'll go for bitrate at 1080p. Any lower and I'll have to stream at 720p, which basically, basically will mean that I'm lowering the quality for everybody. Uh, wow, we only need three more coal generators to set up. Um, let's see. I could probably fit them on the other side. Not bad enough to be an issue. All right. I mean, as long as you can understand what I'm saying, then it should be fine. Theoretically. And and as long as the uh, the game is not giving you motion sickness, which is could be a problem. I have had that happen in the past where the the game was uh lagging so freaking much that I was just sick. Couldn't I could not watch it. There we go. Oh, what just happened? Ho! Oh! I heard a noise. I thought it was uh, my cat scratching at something, but it was actually the game. We have 270 megawatt hours of power. Nice. That is great. Actually, it's kind of weird that this game doesn't have like a battery option. I wonder if they'll add that in the next update. Hmm. That could be interesting. Alright, uh, so here's what we're gonna do. Here is what we shall do. Gonna pull out my fresh accent. Ah, sacre bleu. Oh, oh, oh. I think four is enough. All right, cold gen. Good distance, all right. Okay, um. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So now, as soon as I have conveyor, like faster conveyor belts, then this will actually be effective. But for now, this should be enough. Good. Good, okay. So now I want to cut that one off. And then we're gonna throw, no, not conveyor belt Mark IIs. Heaven forbid we throw a Mark II conveyor belt on this thing. Okay. Can we fit power poles in here? We cannot. 
What a shame. Gonna have to go around the back. Giggity. Son of a bitch. Hang on. Yeah, make it. Yeah. Alright. Oh my god, your cat is here! I love cats. I've got two cats myself. My cats are great. I hope your cat's great. Cats are all, almost always great, to be fair, though. Cats are good. Good cats. There we go. Alright. I could throw some more uh, coal generators up. That is an option that I have right now. Is it a smart one? Probably not. All right, uh, let's see. We need logistics, stackable power pole, or conveyor pole, one, two. Oh, yeah, there's that scratching I was talking about. Your cat is a floppy bean? Oh my god, that's adorable. I love floppy cats. My grandparents have a floppy cat. Her, his, her name is Bijou. God damn it! French names are hard to figure out the gender. Majora, stop it! Seriously, guys, don't ever name your cat after a chaos god. Hey, you're just asking for a bad time. My other cat's name is Lucy, and she's a delight. Damn it. Majora! For fuck's sake, my door is not a scratching post! Stop it! See now, he's scratching at the door because he wants me to come out and pet him. Which is not cool. Majora. Yeah, I think he's done. Motherfucker! Hold on, let me go make sure that my cats aren't actually dying.
Say hi to the peoples. Here's my Lucy. Hi. The cat's name is Everest? It's not a terrible name. I mean, Lucy's not much, not much more creative of a name, but she's a good girl. This one doesn't scratch at my door. She just meows. She's okay. So many bright lights, huh? This is why you're not allowed in here, because you freak out. That was Lucy. I'm not letting Majora in here because then I'll give him the wrong idea and then he'll scratch more. Anyways, back to the game. Back to the game. No, not Mark Two. Mark One. Okay, then this one goes. Can't afford it. Turns out I can't afford it. Who knew? I'll just hook it up straight to there. There we go. All right. You used to have a dog named Lucy? It's a good dog name. I mean, I personally feel like it's a good name for anybody. Dog, cat, human, squirrel, you know, whatever. It's a good name. I gotta navigate sideways because I was drinking water. Don't need these biomass burners anymore. Get your shit out of here. Can I? Okay, I can't disassemble that. I was gonna say, can I disassemble the one that's on my base? No, I can't. Although I can disconnect them now. I don't need them anymore. There we go. Okay. Um, so, where were we? Oh, we need more conveyor belt for the power system. Good news is, is we're building up lots of materials by doing this. So that once we actually need them, we're going to have a big stockpile. Got stuck there. Come on. Stop getting stuck. Get up. Get. There we go. Aha! Alright. Uh, do, 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 do. Conveyor belt. Perfect. I say, good show. Alright, so splitter. 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 Your cat is licking you. You know, I've I've heard I've heard uh, very split opinions on on whether cats licking you is uh, cute or gross. I personally find it adorable. However, in the morning, it's slightly less adorable. Especially when they, they do it just because they want something from you. You know, like food or water. I mean, shit, I'm not making them made of money. Why don't they go get, go and get their... <laughs> damn it. Go and, why don't they go and get a job themselves and make money? Mostly just painful? Ooh, okay. 
Your cat's got some strong uh, tongue barbs then. That makes sense. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So then from here on, it's going to be... I need to conveyor pole. goes to, nope, to here. There we go. And then, um, okay, got stuck for a second there. Climb! Thank you. To there. And then down here. And then we're running five! Fifteen! One, two, three, four. Wait a minute. The math doesn't add up here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I've only got fourteen. God damn it. Need one more. I can't afford it. Okay. I need to plop one more down. How did I miss that? Hang on. There we go. Which means I've got to reorganize now. Because <sighs> now this. So one, two, three, four, five. So now I got to reorient here. This is why you got to double check your math. All right, conveyor pull right there. Oh, oops. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, okay, now we're good. Now we're running at full capacity. Or maybe not. Hang on. So there to here. And there. And then there. Perfect. So that should be 750 megawatt hours. No, it's only 500. Oh wait, no, no, it's it's 750 over here. It's 500. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. Well, we won't need to upgrade our power system for a while. Not so much. She's got a sharp tongue. She, she's she likes to lick your nose. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I've seen cats do that too. It's adorable and at the same time a little bit painful. Yeah, I can imagine. I can understand that. Mm. Holy shit, we've been streaming for almost four hours. You know what? I'm, I've got lots of energy. Let's keep going. First, a celebratory mint. So many wrappers on my desk. I got Lil Wayne and Eminem on my desk. Anyways. <laughs> nope. That's a stupid joke. Alright. So now that we got coal going. We could theoretically upgrade this infinitely. I like mints. They're good mints. Don't hate on the mints. Okay, so right now we're up to screws and cable. Hmm. 
Rotors are uh, tier three. Oh, I definitely have a mint addiction. I got I got like so many boxes of peppermint tea in my uh, in my cupboard. Uh, okay, so reinforced iron plates are also a tier three. Um, okay, so I need to set up a rotor and reinforced iron plates. This is where I'm going to need to use assemblers. Hmm. All right. You have a chocolate milk addiction. Fair enough. Fair enough. I can I can understand that. Okay. So I need plates, screws, and rods all piped up to the top floor. First, we need a top floor. Uh, how much concrete do we have? Not enough. Get some more concrete! Gonna drop some crete on these bitches. Okay. Two, three, and then a thin ass foundation. And then we can delete these walls for now. I'm not going to be putting walls on the lower floors until I have them basically, um, or fully built. Even the building system in this game is satisfying. Like, it's not clunky, it's not unintuitive, it's just perfect. Seriously, Coffee Stain Studios makes the best games in the world. Like, like I'm not sure if you know this, but this game was made from the, by the same people who made Goat Simulator. Uh, I'm actually gonna have to delete this whole ramp. Um, because as it turns out, it blocks my. Uh, my iron plates from getting up to the top floor. So here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I've got to completely reorganize this whole thing. I hate that I have to scroll now. Scrolling is a little bit annoying. Because I, I keep thinking, where is it? And then I realize, oh, I have to scroll. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yes, that's right. I use outdated memes and I'm proud of it. The good thing about reorganizing this thing is that uh, I can throw in some easier path 
uh, pathways for me to walk on. I don't think I've ever heard this track before in this game. Hmm. Alright, for now I'll do that. Oh, shit. And once again, I'm blocking my goddamn conveyors. Hang on. Boy, don't you just hate it when you're an idiot? Or is that just me? Yep, idiot. You like the noise of this assembler? Right then. I honestly have never thought that about the disassembler, but you know what? Now that I think about it, it is pretty adorable. There we go. Although, now that I think about it, it's probably easier if I'm doing it this way. I might as well just go zigzagging up. Although, this way does give me more access to the sides. You know what? I'll keep it this way. I'll keep it this way. I like this way. This way works. Okay. So now I can pipe. Let's see. I need to pipe iron plates up to the top floor. Oh, no! God damn it. This is iron plates, right? Yeah, it is. All right. Got to freaking change. Move that conveyor belt. That one right there. Son of a bitch! Oh, I'm gonna have to move it anyway, so I need to pipe these screws up there as well. Alright, fair enough. You win this round, conveyor belt! Gotta delete this whole frickin' thing. Motherfucker. Son of a bitch. All right, we're gonna just pipe it directly over top of the uh, that thing then. So here's what we'll do. We'll grab a conveyor lift. Go like that. All right. Then I want to, let's see here. This line right here. Need another conveyor pole right here. Perfect. Gotta delete this conveyor lift. 
Shit. This is fine. Everything is fine here. Son of a... Alright. It's not so fine anymore. Use the pathways I built. Instead of being a complete moron. See if I can get the height right the first time. Yeah, I did it. All right. Let's see here. Uh, uh, uh. Gotta have those right angles. Makes it look sexy. Sex in machinery. I hate having this here. Anyways. Oh, okay. I guess we're going up that way. That's fine. Alright, there. So now I can pipe both this thing. This is going to need a, a conveyor lift mark too for sure. Uh, but for now I'll do that. Um, and this thing up here and I also need a split off of this thing <laughs> yes conveyor belts are okay well thank you thank you for agreeing with me Damn it. Missed it. Oh, wait. There's a ladder right here. You know what? I'm not the smartest person. But I... I to be fair, I never... I never said I was. Uh, throw another one on the other side just to be safe. Okay. Splitter. Make sure it's in line with I, where I need it. Right there. Perfect. I'm gonna change this to one long length. That way it doesn't, uh, it's easier to upgrade later on. There we go. All right. So now we need to get a conveyor lift over here. I'm thinking right there will work. Is that it? No, that's not in line with the rest of them. Hang on. It's got to be perfectly in line. It has to look good. There we go. All right. Perfect. All right, so we have the three resources we need up to this floor. Now we got to do something with them. Screws, rods, and plates. Okay. Now, um, are screws in the middle? Oh, they are. Oh, that's actually a good thing. All right, so we need two of these. Ah, uh, we need rotors and modular frames. Oh no, I don't want you to yell at me. That would be bad. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I agree. I like things to be organized. It just makes sense to me. Uh, we're gonna quickly make this the same as the ones above it, cause that's bugging me. Hang on. Corner. 
walk away. Corner. Oh, that one. There we go. Let me delete these. No, not that one. All right. Uh, and then walkway. Oh my god. Oh, you're talking to the disassembler. Right. The disassembler is, is adorable. Okay. Um, actually, I want to... Yeah, I want these all to be stacked on top of each other. Since they're the exact same height, it will work. No, not that one. Okay, and then an L turn. Then a one of these. Oh no, this thing is in the way. That's so not cool. Oh wait, uh, no, we want this one. And then that one. Uh, you know what, the power pole is okay. I don't, I don't mind if this walkway goes to the power pole because I can just walk around it. But, ah, oh, that's, that's so not satisfying. Oh no, I think this is gonna run directly into that conveyor belt too. Yeah, I think it is. Hang on. Oh, it's gonna be close. Yeah. Son of a bitch. This is fine. Everything's fine. It's all fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, where were we? Uh, so we got all of that up here. Oh right, we need two... We need two assemblers, which requires a bunch of modular frames that we need to go and craft. We gotta go craft them. Does this look horrible? It is clipping a little bit. It's fine though. Has this thing researched anything? Oh, I can research pale berries. Oh, and mycelia. Let me throw the mycelia in here too while I'm thinking about it. Uh, boop. There. Okay. Now, which one should, uh, I'll do the mycelia first. I think the pale berries is just the, um, being able to find it easier. Okay, I need modular frames and rotors. Gotta get them rotors! Or, okay. And then, damn. All right, hang on. Uh, add to to-do list. Add to to-do list. And then add to to-do list. Okay. So first of all, I need six modular frames, which requires 18 of those. And I need four rotors. I need a bunch of screws and a bunch of, just a bunch of screws. All right. Good. This is gonna hurt. Ah. Might need to eat something. Uh, uh, there they are. Nom 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 nom. Om nom nom noms. All right. Anyways, let's keep going. First, we need some reinforced iron plates. The good shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. 
All right, then we need some rotors. And then we need some modular frames. Perfect. Now we can make some assemblers. Up the stairs, kind of. They're not really stairs, they're ramps. They're better than stairs because they're wheelchair accessible. Except they're at a, such an incline that I, I would not trust anybody on a wheelchair going up these. They'd probably tip over. Which would be funny and at the same time would make me very sad. All right. What just happened? Did I just double stack that? I don't know where that went. I'm just gonna ignore it and I'll probably find it at, at some point, eventually. Man, I can't wait until I have windows, then I can enjoy this gorgeous view of smokestacks. Anyways. Alright, so here is what I have to do here. I need some I need an assembler. Right here. Now, I should probably set this up so that it's not, so it's like not in the middle of the goddamn space, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, fine. Yeah, we numped it. So this one's going to be a little different because the way I'm going to have to set this up is I'm going to need hmm. I'm not going to do this. It's really hard to do this in, in, from such a low angle. Drop it there. All right, this is gonna be screws. And this one's going to be uh, plates, plates. Yeah, plates. So that's gonna be reinforced iron plates. Okay. So now the difficulty with this one is, is that it essentially has three, well, two things in going in. So I'm gonna have to get a little creative with this. So splitter. It's gonna go right there and right there with conveyor belt going in there and in there all right and then if I need a second one then it'll come out that way all right hopefully that makes sense hopefully I remember that in the future when I have to expand this Luckily, I, I don't think I'll need too many rotors uh, or reinforced iron plates for a while. Discord chat. Uh, opening Discord is a pain. Hang on. There it is. Oh, this is such a fluffy cat. He's a good cat. That's a great cat. Thank you for sending me a picture of your cat. It has invigorated me. All right. 
right, so now another splitter. There. And then there. Conveyor belt here and here. Conveyor belt going from all the way over there to all the way over here. And then same thing on this side. And then this one, it's gonna, I'm gonna put a stack. And then conveyor belt up to there. And then delete the stack. Okay. So that's the plan. It's not a great plan, but it's mine all the same. That's, that's level right there. Okay, so now I got my plates entering into these things. Well, yeah, they gotta be, it's gotta be like Minecrafty, like, like geometry that doesn't make sense or should absolutely be collapsing on itself. It's great. Actually, speaking of which, get rid of that pole. Yeah, isn't that satisfying? I love it. All right, um, so that's that boy. And then these are gonna go from there over to this storage container right here. However, I need to line up the storage container so that it doesn't interfere with this thing. In case I need to pipe out of it at some point. So... Right there. That should be perfect. Hang on. If I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it right. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Yeah, and then just right in the middle of the can. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't break a bunch of rules of nature or anything. <laughs> God damn it! This is fine. Everything is fine. Is that at an angle? I think that's at an angle. That's at an angle. That's no good. We can't have that. No angles. It has to be all 90 degree angles. Wait, those are angles. Oh no! I've backed myself into a corner. Yeah! Now that's fancy. Alright. Alright, so now I need to get the screws over here. Which is, I think, going to require... Oh shit. Wait. Aw, oh, yeah. Never mind, we're good. Gonna go from here, over there. This floor is gonna be a little bit complex. 
Uh, just a little bit. Uh, right there. Okay. Well, I'm glad I sound like your mother. Go to your room. Okay. Um, now I should be able to just throw another conveyor lift on here. Hmm. Okay, so now I need, hmm. <sighs> Hang on. Oh wait, I'm gonna need another assembler, aren't I? Ah, fug nuggets. unacceptable hang on oh that's where that went delete that Splitter. Yeah, that's better. That is not in line. Good. And before I completely disassemble that, I gotta make sure that this is gonna be the right height. There. Okay. Perfect. Okay. More floating conveyor belts. Yay! Yay! All right. <coughs> My throat. Okay. So we need two more assemblers. 
Uh, however, I should probably just start. Hang on. There's a way to do this. I'm sure of it. Will this work? Damn it! Nice. All right, hang on. Gonna have to do this the hard way. a slight angle but that's fine yeah we got screws moving now hell yeah all right I gotta upgrade those to level twos otherwise it's gonna be a it's gonna be a super slow uh, reinforced iron plate production considering I need 120 per minute for one of these uh, I also need to get power up here so let's do that real quick Encroaching clearance. What? I disagree! How dare! That's better. Hooray! We're now producing reinforced iron pl- Good god, that's slow. Hang on. Oh, actually, these are going to be used for, uh, for faster conveyor belts so that's actually a good thing that we're producing these now and yes I could set up both of these to run at the same time but that would actually be more of a waste of power basically so not a good idea as much as I'd love to do it and have things go twice as fast, it actually won't go twice as fast, and it'll be a waste of power. Boy, that's some trippy uh, physics over on the top right of the screen there. Wow. Sure are trippy. Hmm. And that's why the game's still in early access. Oh, getting a headache. I think we're at the end soon. Hooray! Reinforced iron plates! Yas! Yas queen? Slay. Alright, now we gotta get back down. It's such a long way down. I feel like I'm gonna get electrocuted. All right, so, so, we need more assemblers, which means we need more rotors and modular frames. Add to list, add to list, add to list, okay. So let's see, we need how many rotors? Eight, and six, and then, 18 of those, 17 of those. All right, I need a bunch of screws. And some cables too, but a bunch of screws would be nice. There's no way I could build a factory half as organized as yours. To be fair, the reason why I'm able to do this is because I've already built a shitty factory. This is not my first factory, partner. Um. So, yeah, I've got the experience. 
My first factory was a shit show for the first, like, 10 or 15 hours of play. All right. Gotta construct some more reinforced iron plates. Oh. What? Oh. <laughs> I didn't see the iron plates in the list because the list didn't go down that far. Oops. Um, okay. Here. Just slam my face in the iron plates real quick. There we go. And away we go! Alright. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Now we need some modular frames. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, and then. God fucking damn it. There we go. Play a lot of Planet Zoo and it still ends up being a mess. Planet Zoo. Oh, is that like Zoo Tycoon? God, that's a, such a throwback. Zoo Tycoon was the bomb. Um, yeah, I could, I could see... The thing is, is like for, with games like this, I I also would have a hard time with Planet Zoo, because with games like this, everything's like a, a standard size. Like the foundations are like two wide. This is one wide. Uh, like everything snaps to a grid. It's real easy. If there was no grid, I would be lost. Mostly because if there's no grid, I just don't feel confident enough to do a good job. Yeah. So there's that. Alright, let's line this up with this other one. Actually, I'll line it up on this side. There. I need space for a conveyor belt on this side. Oh, this is going to be mucho no bueno. Hang on. Alright, all... There it is. Is this lined up? It is. Okay. Then I should be able to fit a splitter in here. Yeah, I can. Conveyor belt. Come on. Come on! You can do it! Son of a bitch! Alright, um... Oh shit. Dude, just like, download the game. It's probably on Steam or something. Probably. There we go. Okay. Ah, damn it. Hang on. Gotta get up here. Ugh. Yeah. There we go. All right. Whoo. Encroaching. I'll have you know I am not encroaching on anybody. How dare. How dare. One, two. Three. One, two, three. Okay. All right. And then this side. I need another split her. Put it right there. Conveyor belt. There. Is that how it is on that side? Oh yeah. All right. Fair enough. Is the crappy new one? Oh man. Ain't nobody like the crappy new one. 
It's so crappy and new. I have I haven't seen the new one actually. All right, rotors are now going to be produced. I need logistics. There we go. A merger. I'm out of rods. Help! I need some rods. There we go. I got some. That way. Gonna need more rods. Alright, foundation, 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 foundation. I mean, the other reason why I'm so good at this is I actually went to engineering. I went to school for engineering for three years. So a lot of this stuff just kind of clicks with me. I mean, I don't know if it's the schooling or just my the mindset that I have that makes me able to be an engineer, but... Yeah. I've got experience in factories. Of course, I'm pretty sure, like, the best players of this game have no experience, like, with, uh, with like, engineering, so... I think that theory is a bust. I'll put it like that. Yeah, that's better. God, that noise is so satisfying. I love it. It's great. I think I want to move these, this splitter. Hang on. I'm gonna move this splitter. Yeah, there is better. Okay, we now have both of these capable of producing rotors, right? Yeah. All right. And even though it hasn't produced any yet because it can't move enough screws to actually handle it. Zoo Tycoon Ultimate Animal Collection. It's not great. Huh. Yeah, I honestly haven't actually played that game. Nope, too far away. It needs to be snug as a bug on a stick. All right. Goddamn angles. These angles and demons. Well, that's a shame. You know what? I hate it when games get dumbed down. Did we just lose power? No, we didn't. Okay. I was gonna say, why? How could we possibly lose power? Doesn't seem physically possible. There, then down to here, and then over 
over to here. Excellent. Our first rotor! Yeah! Alright, now we just need to speed up our uh, screw movement. And then we should be good. Hopefully. So we need to get a bunch of uh, reinforced iron plates. Oh, that's actually a decent amount. All right. So first step is upgrading this thing. There we go. Yeah, look at that. That's a lot of screws moving right there. All right, so now we're moving 60 that way and 60 this way. It's still not great though, because we need over 250, we need 252 screws per minute in order to uh, keep both of these from starving. Um, which is not possible for us to move along a single uh, conveyor belt right now, unfortunately. So, ah. Uh, Yes, thank you for the applause. Thank you. Thank you. So unfortunately, at the moment, that's as fast as we're going to be making these things. Unless I want to throw another conveyor belt in, which I don't. I'd much rather keep the conveyor belts nice and simple with only a single one for each resource moving between the... Uh, like floors obviously not always gonna be the case and sometimes I'm gonna have to move two at a time but for now this is alright it seems like each floor only has like two things being made the first floor has three um, but everything else is only two I don't know if they designed that on purpose or what but yeah there's two on this one there's three on the bottom one. There's two on that one. Yeah. I, th I think they did that on purpose. Of course, I haven't gotten into copper manufacturing yet. I'm sure it'll get more complex as we move on. But uh, actually, it definitely will get more complex as we move on. That's why I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible by layering it. If I build a factory in three dimensions, it's significantly easier to pipe stuff around. Your cat was just licking the bed? That's fine. Cats do that. My cats used to lick my pillow. It got really annoying, actually. <laughs> like, god damn it. I don't want a wet pillow. All right, you know what? We're almost at the point where I think we should stop the stream. I actually don't think I need that extra line of, of foundations there. I think I'll delete those. Let's see. I don't need it on this floor. Okay. I know, I know. But unfortunately, I'm starting to get a headache and I kind of need to eat food. <laughs> what, you're not having fun? Oh no. <laughs> Yes, make the viewers uncomfortable. It's my ultimate strategy. What the fuck was that? Oh shit! All right. Hey, uh, hey, breaking the chains. Do you like art?
Do you like my channel art? Have you seen my channel art? Like, for example, this channel art. Yes. All right, well then, boy, do I have a stream for you. Uh... Boom. There we go. Once the stream is done, or, in, or right now if you want to, you can go to that link and tell them I sent you. I mean, you don't have to tell them I sent you. Um, but yeah, that... So the, uh, my artist actually just went live. I mean, she's not my artist. She's an artist that ma makes art for me. Uh, but she just went live on Picardo, and all of her streams are always amazing. She's got a great singing voice. She always has good music playing. And, uh, her art is nice. Like, it's good art. So, uh, go and check her out. Um, yeah, I think we're at a point where I'm gonna stop the stream. What I'm going to do, though, just to make life easier in the, uh, for later, I'm gonna keep the game running in the background. Uh, while, while we're off stream, I won't be building anything. I won't be building or doing anything. I'll just letting. I'm gonna let the resources pile up. That way, uh, when we come back tomorrow, hopefully, uh, we will have plenty of resources. All right. So, anyways, oh, how'd this go? Uh, this mycelia can be used to create fabrics. The derived oh, shit. blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier One. Additionally, R&D has requested extra samples to determine the cause of an anomaly. Oh, great. Well, we can make fabric, I guess. Well, la-di-da. Hang on. Let me just quickly pop these in. What, do I need more pipes? I can get more pipes. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Pipes. All right. Or bars, or tubes, or whatever they're called. Boom. Good. All right. There we go. Save the game. All right. All right then. Uh, well. Thank you guys for watching. I guess. For those of you watching on YouTube, please like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my other videos. As well, check out my streams live at twitch.tv slash RazorBrunny. That's in the description below. Did I talk fast enough for you? Let me know in the comments. Other than that, I will see you YouTube next time. Bye, YouTube.